Good day, everybody. So this is the continuation of 2.4. So we, I sent a video and a worksheet for the beginning of 2.4. So there was two worksheets and a video to go with this, that one. So this is for the next part in chapter two, 2.4 trends, interpolation and extrapolation. Let's see if I did it like this. Okay, so a couple definitions here. A trend is the pattern in the graph. Okay, then we have interpolation, which is the estimation of a value between two measurements in a set of data. Um, this is going to sound a little bit weird, but I will show you with the example uh, below. So this is called interpolation. Then our next one is called extrapolation. Okay, and this is an estimation value beyond the range of a set of value. So just some key things here. So interpolation, which is in, inside, so in with, within two measurements. Okay, and then we have extrapolation. So it's kind of an extra, it's beyond the range of a set of data. Okay, so number one, turn back this way. Okay, so number one says to graph the following table. Okay, so we have uh, our X column, which is age, and our Y, which is money earned. So I have created a graph over here for the data, or starting. So going through our nine points um, that we've learned before the March break. So number one, we need a title. So it's just your age versus money earned here. And we have our subtitles, our age. And here money earned okay and i put in thousands uh, just because i didn't write out ten thousand if you want to write the the extra zeros you may and you don't need to include this here okay then we have our scale so our scale is evenly spaced okay so each of these spaces are equal and then it's going up in equal increments so they're going up here by five and then over here on the y-axis it's going up by ten thousand Okay, so that was one, two, three, four points. Then I added my arrows on both the X and Y axis, but we will need one more arrow when we do the line of best fit. And then I also labeled my, oops, I have a typing error here. This should be 55. Okay, and then I have my labeled my X and my Y axis. Okay, and now we're gonna start plotting the points. So the first one is the age of 20. And 30,000. And then we have 25 and 35. 30 and 50. 35 and 60. 40 and 80,000. And 45 and 90. Okay, so I have my two, four, six points there from the graph. Okay, so that was the that was the next point with the nine steps. Okay, also note that I did use a ruler. Okay, that's one of the steps as well. And lastly, I'm gonna do a line of best fit, but I can't do it with one hand, so I'm just gonna put the phone down for a second. Okay, so we have the line of best fit. So note that my line goes, kind of passes through the points here. So I have a couple points below the line, a couple points above the line. Okay, I also added my arrow at the end. Okay, notice that I didn't start from zero because you don't need to. The line of best fit should go between your first point and your last point in length. Okay. So now, the first Part, describe the trend so to describe the trend um, so as so we notice as we get older the more money we earned so the trend is the older you are the more money you earn Okay, that's A. 
Okay, now B. Oops, sorry, that was B. And this one is C. Okay, so C says, how much does a 32-year-old earn? Okay, so 32, so you could do two options here, but one of them I want you to do. So we know that 32 is almost halfway between 30 and 35. So we could estimate it to be halfway, which would be about 55,000. Okay, but I'd rather you do a different method. Okay, and that's for using the graph. So I want you to find roughly where 32 years old would be on your graph. So not quite half, but maybe just a little bit less. And then I want you to draw, I'm gonna use a ruler in a second, a dotted line all the way up to the line of best fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a ruler and do that. Okay, so I drew a line right up to our line of best fit. Stops here. Okay, and then from that point, I'm gonna draw a line going horizontal to the y-axis. One second. Okay, so I did so here. Okay, so if I used my table, we would have guessed roughly 55,000. Um, using our line of best fit, I got roughly, probably a little bit higher than 55, I got about 56,000. Um, when you do this at home, you will have different answers depending on where you put your line. So if I put my line of best fit a little bit lower, then my answer here would be uh, a little bit different. And I also kind of drew a crooked line here. Okay, so my estimation here for a 32 year old would be about 56,000. Okay, but for your graph, um, it will be slightly different, it might be a little bit lower, it might be a little bit higher, but that is fine. Okay, so 56,000. Okay, what we did here with the graph is called interpolation. Okay, we estimated the value within the data. Okay, so within our points over here, back to a definition, a de de definition is an estimation of a value between two measurements in a set of data. So we did that. It's our estimation between two points of data in our graph. Okay, now we're going to do the last part of the question, which is how much would a 50 year old earn? Okay, so we now have to go over here. So we have 50 and again, we're going to draw a line upwards, a dotted line up towards our line. But you will notice that if I do that, I do never touch the line. Okay, so our line stops where our last point is. Okay, so if I draw a dotted line upwards, I don't actually touch the line of best fit. So what we need to do is we need to extend the line of best fit. So we're going to extend the line of best fit. This extension, this extension here is the extra part. So extrapolation. So we're doing extra here. So extrapolation or extending our line. Okay, I'm gonna do that with a ruler. I'm gonna go up here with a ruler. I'm also gonna go across here with a ruler. One second. So like so. So I extended, I don't know why it's out of focus. There we go. So I extended my line. Okay, I want a dotted line showing the extension should be dotted. Okay, and now I'm drawing a uh, dotted line from 50 all the way up to my line here. Okay, I made a point and now I'm gonna draw a dotted line going across so that we can find the value of the earnings. So again, I'm gonna use that with a ruler.
so I went across and I got an answer. This looks just under halfway, so I'll say $104,000. Okay. So my answer for D will be roughly $104,000. Okay. Again, when you do this at home, your estimation will be different. Okay. And if we went up by another five here, you could argue that it's a hundred thousand, but we want, I want you to use your graph. Okay. Show your work on a graph. We hit, we go up from 50 dotted line all the way until we hit the extended line of best fit. And then we go horizontal to the Y axis until we hit the Y axis and we have a roughly 104,000. If you want to put a 105, that's fine. And again, based on where you draw your line of best fit, will give you different answers along the y-axis. That is fine. Okay, so if I were to give you a test on this, then I would it, it would just be based on where you draw your line and you show me the correct steps. Okay, and lastly, put it to right here. So this here is the so this is the extra piece. So this is the extrapolation. Okay, extrapolation again, it's an estimation beyond the range. So our range only went up to 45, but our question asks, what would a 50 year old earn? So this 50 is beyond our age limit that we have in our data. So there we have to do extrapolation. Okay, so that concludes the lesson. Questions for homework, there's only four of them. One, I don't know why I put a dash here. So we have one, two, four, and eight on page 73. Okay, thanks very much. That I will be posting um, my next lesson probably tomorrow um, so that you can maybe get a head start before the weekend. And our my next lesson will be 2.5 linear and non-linear relations. And again, it's a quick one. Okay, I hope you guys are all well. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email, email me through the website. Have a good day. Bye.